What's up guys? Hashtag Peregrine Falcon Lover. And today I'm going to be telling you about my top 10 favorite animals. So let's get right into it. Number one. I think you all know what this one is. At the top of my list is the Peregrine Falcon, also known as Falco Peregrinus. The reason I love this bird, or this animal in particular, is because they are really fast. They dive at about 242 miles per hour at most. They're really pretty. Their babies are one of the cutest animals on earth in my opinion. Before 1970, peregrines became critically endangered, but in 1970, the pesticide DDT was banned and the falcons made a comeback, which resulted in them being taken off the endangered species list in 1999. I also just love how blue their feathers are. That is why peregrine falcons are at the top of my list. Number two. This one's a little more unusual, but it's an animal called a caracal. Coming in the number two spot on my list is the caracal, also known as caracal caracal. These are one of the more lesser known cats of Africa as they're really elusive and not very many people have heard about a caracal. They are able to vertically leap 9.8 feet into the air and catch about 10 to 12 birds at once in mid-flight. And they make really funny noises as seen in the video right now. I also just love their little eyebrow markings, I guess you could say. And the word caracal comes from the word caracoulac, meaning black ears. That is why caracals are the number two spot on my list. Number three. It's kind of a surprise to most people, but it's actually the domestic cat. Felis catus, the domestic cat, may have been domesticated in ancient Egyptian times, where they were prized among pharaohs and sometimes even buried in their tombs with them. Later on, black cats were often criticized for being witches, so they were sadly sometimes burnt to the stake. Cats also have 32 muscles in each ear and can rotate each ear independently at 180 degrees. Cats are very cute, I love their purrs, and I just love their little kittens. That is why cats are my number three spot on my list. <laughs> number four is yet another type of cat. Except it's a big cat, and it's a wild big cat. So, number four is the African leopard. Panthera pardus, the leopard, has a strong bite force of 2,000 pounds. Each individual leopard has its own pattern of spots, which can be used to identify them. Leopards can haul prey two times their own body weight up a tree. Leopards and baboons are constantly fighting over territory with one another, meaning that if they come into contact, one could kill the other. A leopard named Lahadima one night laid down with a baby baboon and nurtured it like a mother. Leopards are very strong and beautiful. That is why they are my number four spot on my list. Number five may come as a surprise to some people because they kind of think these birds are pest animals. I like common ravens. Corvus corax, the common raven, is one of the most intelligent animals in the animal kingdom. They have actually been known pass down information from generation after generation, so their chicks would know information that their parents knew, but the chicks never experienced. They have also been known to use tools to get food, a behavior often shown in apes. They can also be entertaining at times. <laughs> Number six is one of the most iconic animals, the African lion. Panthera leo, the African lion, is also one of the first animals you learn about as a kid, and the fourth largest big cat. Lions have the loudest roar of any big cat, which can be heard from five miles away. Lion prides can be very large, having up to 30 individuals. They have also been known to take down animals as big as elephants and giraffes, making them the literal king of the savanna. Oh, I just can't wait to be king. Number seven is one of the most powerful eagles in the world, the Harpy Eagle. Harpia Harpia, the Harpy Eagle, is one of the largest eagles in the world. Their nests can be as big as a double bed, and they mainly eat monkeys, possums, and sloths. With talons as long as a grizzly bear's claw, they will fiercely defend their chicks and nest from any attackers. Harpy Eagles are big, powerful eagles with very cute and kind of weird looking chicks. That is why they're the number seven spot on my list. Number eight, the largest predator in North America, the grizzly bear. Ursus arctos, the grizzly bear, is one of the more known subspecies of the brown bear. It mainly lives in the Rocky Mountains and it can be easily identified by the hump on its back. Grizzly bears are a little bit smaller than brown bears. They are very powerful and mysterious animals, putting them in the number eight spot on my list. Number nine, is yet another powerful raptor, 
the golden eagle. Aquila chrysatos, the golden eagle, is one of the biggest eagles in North America. They are the national bird of Mexico and sometimes used in falconry to hunt foxes and deer. They can dive at speeds up to 150 miles per hour. I love their golden colored feathers, hence the name, and how cute their babies are. That is why Golden Eagle places as number 9 on my list. Number 10 is the blue whale. Balaenotura musculus, the blue whale, is the largest animal in the world. The male blue whale's song can travel up to thousands of miles in the deep ocean. They can also eat up to 40 million krill a day. They can weigh up to 420,500 pounds. Blue whales are mysterious and wondrous creatures, which puts them at the number 10 spot on my list. Alright, so I know I didn't say this in the title of the video, but I'm doing like a kind of a bonus animal, well, two bonus animals. My favorite extinct bird is the host's eagle. Harpergornus muori, or the host's eagle, was the largest eagle to have ever existed. They inhabited New Zealand and preyed on moas, which could weigh up to 510 pounds. Host's eagle became extinct around 1400 when their prey, the flightless moa, was hunted to extinction. The host eagle was the largest eagle to have ever exist, and that is why they are my favorite extinct bird. And last but not least, my favorite extinct mammal is the Tasmanian tiger. Thylacinus sinocephalus, the thylacine, or Tasmanian tiger, became extinct in the 20th century. These guys were hunted to extinction because they would kill livestock but there have been sightings that haven't been confirmed, so hopefully they're still out there somewhere. Here's some of the last footage of thylacines that is known. I would like to thank you guys so much for watching. Please be sure to hit the like button and to subscribe. See you later! <laughs>